the OnePlus 7T is finally official and despite the significant bump in pricing, the device is still among the only few in the market that offer the best bang for your buck. Which means that just like the predecessor, the OnePlus 7T is going to sell like hotcakes. So if you're planning on getting the all new OnePlus 70 or if you have ordered one already, then this video is just for you. Hi guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and today we are going to take a look at some amazing OnePlus 70 tips and tricks that you must know if you want to make the most out of your new phone. So let's get right into it, shall we? Kicking things off is the all new chromatic reading mode which unlike the conventional reading modes only desaturates the screen to make it a bit more easy on the eyes while still retaining some color. You can use this mode while reading articles or ebooks on your phone and you can easily access it from the quick settings menu. Just tap on the reading mode, pick chromatic mode option and you are done. In case you want this mode to be your default reading mode, you'll have to set a rule for the same. To do so, long tap on the reading mode icon to head over to the settings menu. Here tap on turn on reading mode option and choose turn on chromatic effect and you are done. Next up, let's talk about the new customization menu that OnePlus has baked into the all new Oxygen OS. With this menu, you'll now be able to control all your UI customization settings from the single page. Just open up the settings page and select the customization option to personalize the UI as per your liking. From the menu, you'll be able to make changes to the accent colors, icon shapes, fingerprint animation style and so much more. And in case you want the system to handle all the colors and wallpaper requirements, then you can simply choose one of the present themes available in the menu. Now since the OnePlus 7T is among the first few phones to ship with the all new Android 10 out of the box, it also packs in the all new navigation gestures and with the new Android gestures, you'll be able to swipe inwards from left or right edge to go back, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go back to the home screen and swipe up and hold from the bottom of the screen again to open up the recent apps menu. Simple, isn't it? You'll also notice a new bar at the bottom that you can swipe left or right on quickly to switch between the most recent apps. And on top of all that, you can swipe inwards from either of the bottom corners to bring up the all new Google Assistant. I personally like these new swipe gestures a lot, but I am still a bit disappointed to see that the OnePlus's own navigation gestures are not included this time around. Now next up, let's talk about the beautiful 90Hz AMOLED display of the phone. Much like the flagship 7 Pro, the screen on the OnePlus 7T is buttery smooth and quite frankly, it's so much fun to use. However, if you want your phone to last all day long, you might want to ramp down the refresh rate to 60Hz for the device. To switch to 60Hz, you'll need to head over to display settings, tap on screen refresh rate and here select the option 60Hz. That's it. Now since we are talking about the screen, the video enhancement is another settings that you should turn on. It can also be found within the display settings and once it's turned on, the phone will automatically optimize the display whenever you are watching videos and give them a richer and more vivid look. Try it out for yourself, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Next up, let's talk about another display setting. But this one will come in handy when you have your phone screen turned off. OnePlus has included a new smart display option for the ambient display on the OnePlus 7T which will allow you to get more useful information alongside time and notifications. To turn it on, head over to the ambient display settings and tap on the toggle next to smart display. Having done that, tap on it and then enable both the options in the following menu. Now every time the ambient display pops up on the lock screen, you'll be able to see media playback information along with the calendar events, if at all they are scheduled on your calendar. Moving on, let's now talk about a cool new feature included in the default SMS app on the Oxygen OS. With this new feature, you'll be able to automatically block incoming messages with specific keywords. To turn it on, open up the SMS app, jump onto the settings from the three dot menu that you see on the top right hand side corner, tap on block settings and then choose the new block by keyword option. Here, select the plus icon in the top right hand corner and add the keywords that you want to block and that's it, you're all set. Now, if any incoming SMS has a keyword that you just added, 
it will automatically be blocked for you and you won't be notified for it. Next up, let's take a look at the all new game space. Now OnePlus has removed its gaming mode from the utilities section in the settings app and turned it into a standalone app. This app now houses all the games that you have installed on your device so that you don't have to browse through the entire app drawer to look for the games that you want to play next. It also shows you how much time you spent playing each game, which is great for those who want to keep a check on the smartphone usage, especially gaming. Other than that, the app houses all the features you find in the gaming mode on older OnePlus devices, including the graphics optimization, the eSport ready fanatic mode, along with settings to manage incoming notifications while you are gaming. Now rounding things off is the enhanced Zen mode which now lets you customize the time duration for which you want to focus and get away from the phone. You can still enable it right from the quick settings but now you get a new drop down menu with the all new time durations in the following screen. Along with that the OnePlus also has baked in Google's digital well-being into the OS so that you can make use of all its features alongside the Zen mode. Well that wraps it up for this video. So make sure that you hit the like button if you have learned something new and don't forget to subscribe to GT if you don't want to miss all the amazing videos we have planned out for the OnePlus 7T. This is Ashish signing off and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.